a bracket plate is a bracket plate is used to transfer is used to transfer the reaction of a transfer the reaction of a beam beam to a column flange to a column flange as shown in figure as shown in figure the bracket is connected the bracket is connected to the column flange to the column flange by 6 mm fillet weld 6 mm fillet weld compute the compute the maximum service load maximum service load that can be placed that can be placed over the bracket plates over the bracket plates at a distance of at a distance of 75 mm from the flange at the from the flange at the column section figure is like this Seventy five mm This is the weld length. This is two hundred and it is also two hundred two hundred mm and it is the centroid here which is x bar this one x bar this is ishb 300 and it is connected like this Two plates are connected like this on both sides. 75 mm. 
that means 2p here like this this is the problem now first we will find what is x bar x bar equal to uh, or otherwise first we will find effective thick thickness size of weld equal to size of weld equal to 6 mm throat thickness throat thickness equal to 0 0.7 times of 6 that equal to 4.2 mm x bar distance of the centroid of the weld group from the left edge of the bracket plate x bar equal to distance of cz of weld cz of cz of weld group from the left edge of the bracket plate from the left edge of the bracket plate bracket plate equal to 2 into 200 into 4.2 into 200 into 4.2 into 100 centroid of the length leg 200 is 100 plus 100 into into 100 plus 200 like 200 into 4.2 into 0 divided by 2 into 2 horizontal x that is 200 into 4.2 plus again vertical leg is 200 into 4.2 which is equal to 66.67 mm x bar is 66.67 mm then Similarly, we will find what is IXX of the weld group. IXX of the weld group is first vertical leg 4.2 into 200 BD cube by 12. 4.2 into 200 BD cube by 12 for vertical leg plus horizontal legs 2 into because two flanges are there, each flange, I mean each uh, horizontal weld 200 into 4.2 cube by 12 plus about central axis plus 200 into 4.2 into 100 square which is equal to 66.67 mm here IXX is 1960 0.2 into 10 power 4 mm to the power of 4 that is IXX IYY equal to for 200 mm leg 200 into 4.2 cube by 12 plus for flanges I mean for horizontal welds 4.2 into 200 cube by 12 plus 4.2 into 200 into 4.2 into 200 into 100 minus because 200 by 2 is 100 100 minus 66.66 whole square plus 4.2 for vertical leg also we need to shift that that is 200 into 4.2 into 66.66 .66 square 
which is equal to 1120.12 into 10 power 4 mm to the power of 4 that is i by y Then IP, polar moment of inertia, IP equal to IXX plus IYY which is equal to 1960.2 into 10 power 4 plus 1120.12 into 10 power 4 which is equal to 3080.32 into 10 power 4 millimeter to the power of 4 is IP. Now you can find what is Q1. Q1 equal to P1 divided by each side load. Let us take P1 divided by that means uh, here P1 plus P1. Uh, here this, let us take this P1. On each side it is P1. So P1 divided by area 2 into 200 plus 200 this is total length of weld multiplied by 4.2 which is equal to 0 0.000 0 0.000 p1 newton per mm square is Q1 and Q2 due to twisting moment Q2 equal to PER that means P1 into E is 200 minus 66.66 plus 75 is eccentricity and radius is radius actually it is In this case here, this is the radius, see here, this is totally 200, 200 minus 66.66, that means another portion is 200 minus 66.66 which is equal to 133.34 and this vertical height is here total 200 that means each 100 100 100 100 then this r will be r r equal to root of 133.34 square plus 100 square which is equal to 133.34 square plus 100 square which is 166.672 166.672 is r and uh, theta also you can find here theta tan theta equal to opposite side 100 by adjacent side is 133.34 and theta equal to now tan inverse of 100 divided by 133.34 which is 36.87 degrees 36.87 degrees and cos theta equal to 0 0.8 cos theta equal to 0.8 cos theta equal to 0.8 now q2 equal to p e r r is 166.166.672 166 
by IP. IP is 3080.32 into 10 power 4 which is equal to 0 0.00113 P1 Newton per mm square. Now resultant Q equal to root of QR resultant equal to root of Q1 square that is 0 0.0003968 P1 square plus Q2 square that is 0 0.0011273 P1 square plus 2 times of 0 0.003968 P1 into 0 0.0011273 P1 into cos theta is 0 0.8, 0 0.8, which is equal to 1.4642 into 10 power minus 3 P1. Now we know QR should be less than or equal to FU by root 3 gamma MW, that is 1. 4, 6, 4, 2 into 10 power minus 3 P1 equal to FU 4, 10 Newton per mm square divided by root 3 gamma MW is 1.25. So, P1 equal to from this P1 equal to 129.3 kN and P equal to 2 times of P1 which is equal to One twenty nine point three into two two fifty eight point six kilonewtons. So here in question he has asked compare the maximum service load. This is the factor load. This is factor load. Factor load. Then service load equal to. Service load equal to P by 1.5. P by 1.5 equal to 258.6 divided by 1.5, which is equal to 172.4 kilonewtons. 172.4 kilonewtons is the maximum maximum load can be transferred through this bracket connection.